Hello once again, class. There's my saguaro cactus I painted in the last video. Now I'm going to make my background. I'm going to make the ground and the sky and the cords in the way. All right. Here we go. Ooh. I have lots of paper to cover here. In art, people say, I have to cover a lot of real estate. That's what they say. Ooh, I just covered the lens. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reach for my brushes and... Wait a minute. These are kind of small brushes. <sighs> Whatever. Go away, Pidgey. Go away, Zubat. Oh, yeah. This is what I want. Magnemite and Squirtle. My big hitters. That's what I'll do. Take a bigger brush, friends. Don't make yourself crazy trying to cover a lot of ground with a small brush. I see you scribble scrabbling away, sometimes with a tiny brush, when boom! The job gets done with a bigger brush faster and better. See that? That just took me a few seconds, and I got a lot of real estate covered. There we go. Just cover that real estate. Get a big old biscuit eating brush. Feed it its biscuits. Then go in there and cover real estate. Look at all that real estate getting covered. I'll do the same with the sky. I'll get a big old biscuit eating brush like Magnemite here. And I would dip it in the blue. Do, do, do. Eat your biscuits, brush. There we go. And now we're covering real estate. Lots of space eaten away in a short amount of time without losing the professionalism. So that is the next tip. It's all about picking the right brush for the job. Big areas use big brushes. Tiny areas use tiny ones. Alright guys, good luck!